So the Cubs, or I should say the Nationals, have waved the white flag. They are, they are officially <laughs> giving up on the season. And look, they, Mike Rizzo gave it an extra few weeks. And they have not played any better. They've been the same exact team, and so they do sell. Why now? Frank, well, why finally decide to sell these parts now? It's late August. I think Mike Rizzo gave this, this team a chance mm -hmm. to turn it on. When you're five back at the break, well, not at the break, but at the trade deadline, mm -hmm. with a roster that is so talented that could explode at any second, they just, they just hung on, hung on, hung on, thinking they were going to a big win streak and get back into this division race. Didn't happen. So it's time to unload. I mean, I understand he just he let two pen and free agents go. Right. Uh, it makes sense for them. Like you said, he's clearing the books. He's getting ready for 2019. He's getting ready to sign Bryce Harper back is what he's trying to do for sure. But I think, like, just moving those guys, we're, we're not talking about the real stars in the Nationals that are being moved, guys like Harper, Scherzer, Zimmerman, things right. like that. I and mean, we're talking about Daniel Murphy, who spent the last two and a half years doing a great job. He's going to be great for the Cubs yes. moving forward. Matt Adams, the same thing. But after hearing what Rizzo said, I'm thinking the same thing you did. It's almost like he's waving the white flag, like can't wait to get some, some experience for my younger players. Right. And I guess in, in his mind, he's moving forward to next year, I guess. My only question is why not with Bryce Harper? Now, there's a report today, you know, we, we said he was on waivers. The Dodgers had interest in they, they couldn't come up with a trade. You have to do it within 48 hours. They couldn't do it. Why not him at this point if you're already waving the white flag? He's a franchise player. It's hard to let go of super talent. And uh, his ceiling is still high. Uh, so it's one of those things they're still hoping and wishing that he signs back in Washington. They did not want to embarrass and let him go on waivers. Yeah, well, also, too, man, maybe they didn't have enough. Maybe there wasn't enough in the cupboard to get a guy like Bryce Harper, you know? All I know is this. The Nationals, one of the biggest disappointments we've seen in a few years in Major League Baseball. Everyone had their expectations up here. They have failed, and so now they start selling off pieces. But for the Cubs, a little bit different. They get a guy that can flat out hit. So that's the good news. There's a little bit of bad news, and we've kind of been ready for this, right? For the Cubs, they learned officially that you Darvish will miss the rest of the season with a stress reaction in his elbow. Darvish hasn't pitched since May 20th, won just one of his eight starts with the Cubs, signing a monster free agent deal in February so he is out of the equation so let's forget about that he's gone but they get Daniel Murphy and yep. so what does that mean for them and does that make them the team to beat in the NL yeah I think that's absolutely huge I mean I think we both agree on that side uh, bringing over a guy like Daniel Murphy is not only what Joe Madden said he's a pro at bat this guy knows exactly what he's doing in the batter's box he's a veteran leader for guys in that locker room and like you said I mean he devastated the Cubs I mean I think he's hitting over 400 at Wrigley Field uh, and also too on top of that when the lights are on in the postseason this dude has a career 323 postseason average man that's tops with Albert Pujols so I think for anybody, the Chicago Cubs are stoked to get a guy like Daniel Murphy. He's a perfect fit. The professional bats night in and night out. Maybe it'll pass down the line because he's contagious. Maybe some of those younger, younger Cubs players can watch him, you know, take some serious professional at bats and rub off on them a little bit because they're going to need this. But this guy is, could be key for them down the stretch. You thought, Frank, that this was something that the lineup desperately needed, right? Oh, desperately needed. They've struggled so badly, including the night. You know, five straight games, one run, right. one solo home run. That is not hitting. That's not, that's not passing the hat. This team needs somebody in there who can flat out hit, and that's Daniel Murphy. Well, let me ask, as far as where guys go, obviously they're hoping that Bryant gets healthy. So is this Murphy at second, Baez a short, Addison Russell bench? I think he comes off the bench. I is feel that like, what we're doing? You know, Javi Baez, I feel like, can play anywhere you need him to play. And right. obviously, if Murphy needs a day off, he said Ben Zobrist as well as an option. Of course. That's a great thing for Joe Madden. Man. He's got a lot of flexibility. Yes. And for him, he loves that because he can play matchups at that point. Well, Murphy not there yet. Frank, you talked about the offense is still struggling for mm -hmm. Chicago.